what's up guys what's going on this is christian again and welcome back to our channel chantry wonders i hope you guys have an amazing day and i hope you guys are can hear me because of this mask and we are here again in winnipeg to try this uh new filipino kitchen here in winnipeg uh cold uh filipino food trip and let's check it out and let's go inside and we're going to eat we're going to eat lunch filipino style see you inside so this is the front of the house food trip kitchen let's go inside Ooh. there we go food trip kitchen that's my wife so if you're going to dine in they have a contact form over here and they're open for dining right so there you go sign in here uh, food trip kitchen offers different dishes from different vendors they showcase some of the local foods from the philippines It's a Filipino style uh, cake. What's that? Chili oil. Chili oil. We have Bema cake rolls. Oh, what's this? Oka roll, Oreo cake, chocolate, ube macapuno, ube custard. Ooh, looks good. If you're going to order here, they have you have to download the uh, QR scanner and scan this one. So let's do that. <laughs> so let's start the meal with appetizer. Well, this one is lumpiang sariwa. Lumpiang sariwa is a type of Filipino spring roll that is eaten fresh or unfried as a midday snack or light meal. This fresh spring rolls is a Filipino vegetable dish composed of different vegetables with a soft wrapper garnished with sweet sauce and crushed peanuts. All the, all, all the vegetables are fresh. Yeah, you can taste the peanut, the sweetness, it's good. Lettuce is good, perfect. This is sisig, one of the most favorite pollutant or beer much of the most Filipino in the Philippines. This dish made from parts of pig head and pork liver, usually seasoned with calamansi, onions, and chili peppers. And the best part is, they serve it on a hot sizzling plate. You can get lots of different textures on it. Hot, sizzling, crispy, sticky, delicious bits of pork with many textures. It goes really well with beer or rice. The first bite of CC. Siempre, famous CC. Mm. so good you can you can taste the crispiness saltiness uh, everything yes. everything yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah tastes so good feels like uh, actually this is a beer match in the Philippines so it's called it sisi what's a drinking food mm -hmm. oh, drinking yeah. food so but for us it's it better part close with rice Better this another dish called sinigang. Sinigang is a native sour soup in the Philippines. 
Pork sinigang is a classic Filipino soup characterized by its sour and savory medley of flavors. It's popular comfort food in the Philippines, usually served on its own or paired with steamed rice. This soup is perfect on a winter weather, like here in Canada. Now we're going to taste the crispy sinigang. That's a sour crispy soup. Crispy pork in a sour soup. Yeah, with crispy eggplants. Sour. I don't know if it's like a tamarind or a guava that made it sour, but yeah. It's It's refreshing. So if it's if Look it's the bowl of sinigang, this is good for what for people? Yeah, for twelve uh, twenty bucks. Uh, the soup is so refreshing. Uh, uh, you can taste the tamarind. It's sour, so good. It's tangy. So they have a pork over here. Let's try have a bite. Mm. Look at that. The meat. The meat is so tender. Huh? I think I need the plate. I'll just use the plate instead. I'll put my pork dish in here. The pork is so tender. It's so good. It's really good. I really like it. Then we're going to uh, take a bite of this uh, pork isaw. Inihaw na isaw ng baboy or grilled barbecue pork intestines is a Filipino bizarre street food made with sliced beef's large intestines. Mm. The tenderness of the uh, pork intestine. It's in the so of the texture, texture, the what do you call it? tenderness, mm, so good. But if this one's not cooked properly, uh, some of them is chewy. It's so hard to eat. It gets rubbery. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> This, never one, gonna be. this one is so tender, so it's good. If it's rubbery, it's never gonna be. The right? Yeah. The <laughs> secret sauce that they use, it's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> but still, it's best partner with rice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, this 
want a good meal. I'm sure. That's it. I am not. I will. I That was a good meal, mga boss idol. I'm so full. I couldn't even walk. <laughs> My tummy is so full right now. Uh, this is Ate Arlene. She made our uh, lumpiang sariwa. The vegetables. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Invite naman po sila dito. Hi, hello po mga kababayan. <laughs> Uh, visit po kayo dito sa Food Trip Kitchen. Nandito po yung mga iba't iba klase ng pagkain. So, para ma-experience nyo, gano'ng kasarap ang sa Food Trip Kitchen. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, ate. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye, ate. Bye-bye, ate. Bye-bye, So, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so hard to walk right now. We're full. And it's a highly recommended Filipino kitchen place. So if you're wandering around here in Winnipeg and if you want to uh, eat some Filipino foods, get the cooler. Get the cooler. <laughs> get the so, cooler, <laughs> one happy kid right there. <laughs> 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 so yeah if you're in Winnipeg and if you're hungry and if you're looking to a uh, place to eat so we are going to end the video right here mga boss idol till next time if you're not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button and don't forget that notification <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget the notification bell for more uh, new videos. Bye bye, Mabos Idol. See you again on our next video. Bye bye.